All right, good morning, guys. It is January. It is January the 8th, 2024, and I want to go through this Word document that I made. In this video, we're going to discuss uh, trading terms explained for the beginner. I'm going to link this document, uh, uh, document somewhere in the description box below. Um, these are not going to be ICT specific uh, trading terms. Um, these are just going to be generic trading terms. You can find this document in the description box below. So let's go through. Number one, stock. Stock refers to equity ownership. Uh, I came up with these definitions by myself, by the way. They're not all the um, like proper and correct definitions. Stock is equity ownership in a publicly traded company. Some stock exchanges include the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. Equity or equities is another way of saying stock. Equity may also refer to ownership interest in other types of business entities such as LLCs or partnerships. To have, quote, equity, end quote, in something means to have an ownership interest. Trade. The act of buying or selling a financial product usually refers to everything except an investment. A day trade is a trade which is open and closed within the same financial day. Swing trade. A trade which is held for a short period of time, usually not longer than one or two weeks. Investment is a trade usually held for over one calendar year, resulting in a long-term capital gain or loss. Futures contract. A futures contract is a contract for the future price of an underlying product, such as the S&P 500, and is classified as a Section 1256 contract by the Internal Revenue Service, originally developed for farmers to hedge their crops harvest. Options contract is the right but not the obligation to buy or sell a set number of shares at a given price at a given time. Options premium, the premium you receive for selling a call or put option, which is otherwise known as writing or underwriting an options contract. A broker is the agent who purchase or sell, purchases or sells your contracts for you on the market. Some examples include TD Ameritrade, uh, Charles Schwab, TradeStation, Forex.com, Oanda, Interactive Brokers, etc. Commission. A commission fee is the fee the broker assesses you for a transaction. You want these as low as possible, but you cannot avoid paying commissions. Too long means to buy. It's another way of saying I bought contracts. If I long contracts, it means I bought contracts. Short, to sell. In short, to borrow shares to sell them in, in the hopes of a product moving lower to profit the difference. Another way of saying I sold short contracts or I shorted the market. So when you short contracts, you're buying, you're borrowing contracts that you don't own to sell them in the hopes that the price goes down that you can buy them back at a, at a lower price. To cover. To cover a position usually refers to buying back contracts or shares that you earlier sold short. However, traders will often refer to selling contracts they bought earlier as covering as well. To flatten and or to be flat. To flatten your account means to close out all open positions in the account. To be flat means that your account has no open positions. Drawdown. Drawdown refers to open or realized losses, but usually open losses. Heat or be taking heat or to be in heat. To be in drawdown, the feeling of heat or anxiety you feel when you're losing money. Reverse. To reverse your open position to be immediately in the opposite direction. So if you were long three contracts and you reversed, you're now short three contracts. Partial profits or partials. If you are trading multiple contracts or shares and uh, you take off part of your position but leave some contracts on, that action is referred to as taking partial, partials. Alpha. Alpha refers to profit. Generating alpha. To generate profits or income. Delta. Delta refers to changes in price or another variable over time and is usually discussed with options trading. Theta or theta decay. Theta decay refers to the value an options contract loses as it approaches its expiration date, usually discussed with options trading. Volatility. Volatility refers to the frequency or the magnitude of price fluctuations over time. A highly volatile instrument will change dramatically in price over short periods of time, but it may end up in the exactly the same spot. Limit order. 
In order to buy or sell, in other words, to long or short, at a given, a given contract at a given price, this order will not be filled unless your market trades to said price. Generally, it's a more conservative and reliable way of trading than using market orders. A market order. A market order is an order to buy or sell or to long or short a given contract at the current market price. Fill. When an order of any type is executed, to be filled means that your trade was executed. OCO, one cancels the other or order cancels order. This refers to orders that will cancel given another order is filled. For example, take profits and stop losses are often OCOs. Stop loss, an order which will flatten your position after a given loss. Traders will often refer to this only as a stop or SL. Take profit, in order to take profits at a given price, may be referred to simply as your TP. Resettlement. Resettlement is the period between 1800 and 1900 New York local time when the futures market closes every day. It may also refer to the market closing for the weekend on Friday and reopening on Sunday. That period of time when the market is closed is commonly referred to as the resettlement period. Over holidays it would be the same. The CME refers to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The CBOT refers to the Chicago Board of Trade. A tick or ticks. A tick is the smallest increment a given contract can fluctuate. For example, in the E-mini S&P 500 contract, the tick size is 0.25. Minis are the full-size futures contracts, and you can see that the ES is $50 a point or $12.50 a tick, and the NQ is $20 a point or $5 a tick. The micros. The micro is the one-tenth product offered for futures. The micro E-mini S&P 500 is $5 a point or $1.25 a tick, and the micro NASDAQ is $2 a point or $0.50 a tick. Margin requirement. The amount of money your broker requires to have you in your brokerage account to trade a set number of futures contracts or other types of contracts. So it's the amount of cash you have to put up in margin to take a trade. For example, to trade on TradeStation right now, the micro ES is approximately uh, $1,250. Evens, quarters, halves, and three quarters. This is how you verbally describe price. For example, if the ES is trading at 47.33 spot 75, you would say 47.33 three quarters, or at 4,700, you, would, you could say 4,700 evens. Or at 47.34 spot 50, you could say 34 halves, and you could take off the 4,700 part. So it's just different ways that you can verbally describe price, evens, quarters, halves, and three quarters. Regular trading hours refers to when the stock market is open from 0930 to 1600 uh, Eastern Standard Time or New York Time. Electronic trading hours when the stock market is closed, but the futures or forex markets are trading. They trade 23 hours a day. The pre-market specifically refers to about the hour between before the stocks open during electronic trading hours. To blow out or bust, to blow out or to bust your account means to lose all the money in your brokerage account. And ICT, finally, Inner Circle Trader, who you can find him on YouTube. ICT refers to Inner Circle Trader. He's an online personality. So, with that being said, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to go down a quick definitions list. Uh, this took me no longer than 10 minutes. Um, you can refer to this video whenever you hear me talking. Was I exhaustive in this list? No. But it's a basic list of fundamental trading terms that you should know, and I'm going to link a copy of it in the description box below. You can find all of my affiliates. Um, including uh, Apex Trader Funding, Top Step Trader Funding, and American Express Blue Cash Preferred Credit Cards in the description box below. Sign up.